Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the channel, how it's been doing, some exciting things that have happened throughout the year, and announcing a few channel updates that I'm pretty excited about. Hey there, Brew Crew. Happy New Year to all of you out there. 2023 was a year with a lot of ups and downs for me personally, but the channel itself had a lot of growth over the year, and I'm incredibly excited to see what the future will bring. This was the first year that I started to devote my time to YouTube, having come over from Twitch, and we started 2023 with 17 channel subscribers. At the end of the year, we are currently sitting at 253 subscribers. I know that's pretty small numbers compared to a lot of other channels out there, but I'm def definitely considering that a positive takeaway. What is especially encouraging is that it seems as though the momentum is building, and that has me really excited for 2024. We visited three conventions in 2023, Origins, Gen Con, and Grand Con. I love each of these conventions for different reasons, and it's my hope to be able to continue attending and vlogging these conventions so that some of the folks who can't make it to the cons can still experience some of the excitement of being there. People generally seemed to enjoy these vlogs, and I want to improve my skills as a vlogger, and I'm also hoping to attend some more small local cons this year. So if anyone has any suggestions for conventions in the Michigan, Indiana, Ohio area, please let me know. I'd love to come visit. This was one of my favorite years for conventions too because I met a lot of new friends and great people this year. I met Jen Cam Plays Board Games at Origins this year, which I believe she said was her first gaming convention ever, and she's such a fun person to be around. I got to spend time at Gen Con with Missy Schmalls and Joe, the Phantom Meeple, uh, from over on Twitch, who is a super funny guy. Um, I also had a chance to hang out with Missy and Evan at Grand Con, and I was even able to talk Gen Cam into coming up for it as well. Plus, I had the opportunity to meet Mick and Starla from Our Family Plays Games there, and they are some of the friendliest people that I have met in all of board gaming. Shortly after Grand Con, I was fortunate and excited enough that Lei allowed me to join their OFPG Voices family, where I've met a lot of other amazing content creators. Going back to conventions, I'm going to circle back to what I had said earlier about this year being full of ups and downs. I've been off and on with jobs so far this year, and I have had trouble finding a good fit for me and my family. I've recently started a new job that I am very excited about, and I think it's really going to be a great fit. Unfortunately, all of this has put us in a tight spot financially. Uh, it's meant curbing a lot of our game purchasing, which is how we get most of our games for reviews, and it's meant that we're likely going to have to make some tough decisions when it comes to conventions. And if that's the way it is, then that's okay. At the end of the day, we're going to be responsible, and even though this is something that I love doing, it is just a hobby. With that being said, though, I wanted to share a couple of ways that you could help support the channel if you feel so inclined. First, and most importantly, is just to click the subscribe button, like, share, comment, just interact with the channel in some way. It really does help us get noticed. Aside from that, though, we also have a Redbubble merch store where you can find t-shirts, stickers, mugs, and lots of other cool stuff. I'll put a link in the video description down below. And finally, if you are interested in helping out the channel directly in a financial way, you can also send a tip through Ko-fi. This is a pretty simple process, and there will be a link to the Ko-fi page in the description as well. I chose Ko-fi because I wanted to keep the channel the same for everyone. Um, I want all folks to have access to all of my content, and I don't want anyone to miss out on anything because they can't or don't want to pay. Uh, please know that there are no expectations here, and I will not be asking for money in all of my videos from here on out. It's simply something that I set up so that in the off chance there are some folks may find themselves uh, with the means and the desire to help out. 
Any money gained through this channel will be reinvested directly into the channel and will help cover the costs of attending conventions, purchasing better equipment, and trying to create better content for all of you. The last thing I want to say is thank you. Thanks to all of the people who have encouraged me over the year. Uh, thank you to the publishers who have been kind enough to take a chance on a small channel like this. Paverson Games, Aethermont Studios, Talon Strike Studios, Catastrophe and Valor Mountain Games, and Excited Sloth. I'm sure I'm forgetting some, but I definitely wanted to mention these folks because they've been very supportive. And finally, thank you to everyone who watches these videos. I'm sincerely humbled that there are people out there who actually want to watch the content that I make. And I love that I've had people returning to comment and talk to me about what they love in the hobby. These games are great, but what's greater to me is the community that we've built up around gaming. I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of the Brew Crew, and I can't wait to keep the crew growing in 2024. So that's it for this video. Again, just a brief recap of 2023 and some channel news and updates. I hope to see some of you out at a convention this year. And until next time, let's get another round for the table.